let's talk about arc length. What is arc length? Arc length is the length of a graph on an interval. That's it. Okay. Up until this point in your math classes, you have been able to find the length of a line using the distance formula. We'll explore that at the very end of this lesson. But basically, right now, we want to find the length of any curve, and we have to have calculus to do it. So here's the first question. Determine the length of the arc on the function, y, of the function, on the function, y equals sine x on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So if you graphed it by hand, which we can do, We'll say that this is 2 pi, which makes this 1 pi. And the graph of sine, let's switch colors here, is going to look like this. It's going to go up, and then cross it pi, and then back down. It's going to do that. OK, so the answer to this question is, how long is that? If, for example, this was measured in inches, and a bug crawled here, how many inches did he crawl? Right? So how far did the something travel along this curve? And since it's not straight, we have to use calculus to figure it out. So let's do it. Determine the length of the arc on, the, on that function, on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Use this formula. S is often the letter we use to denote distance. I guess it's because of that. But let's go ahead and start with the obvious. I'll uh, stick with blue here. So y prime equals cosine x. There it is. And so I'm going to use y prime. I have to. I have to find the derivative. And then I have to square it. I put that in brackets just to kind of show that I'm squaring something larger. You don't have to have brackets themselves. But 0 to 2 pi with a very squeaky marker of square root. <laughs> I hate that sound. 1 plus the derivative cosine squared. So cosine squared. There are a lot of them you can do by hand. This one you can't. I'm sorry. I tried. It doesn't work. And by the way, if you're thinking, well, just square the one and so square root the one, square root the cosine. No, they're added. You can't do that. So I'm going to grab my calculator and I'm going to type it in. And you're going to see what I'm typing. So this one's calculatorable, math nine, not very by handable. Uh, zero to two pi, square root of. 1 plus, okay, let's, let's get this just right. I'm going to square everything that's about to happen. Let's put parentheses. Cosine of x, and then close the parentheses. So this set of parentheses closes that cosine, and we'll square that. Because I can't put the cosine in the same location I put it when I put it on paper. I just can't. So I'm going to press Enter, and you'll see the answer. And just 7 something. Yeah, 7.64 zero. We will put that last zero. We round to three decimal places. I said it was seven something because I have done this question before, so I remembered that the answer was that. So it's not like I can do this in my head. Seven point, see, I forgot what it was. Six, four, zero. Six, four, zero. So again, if this was miles, right? And there's something doing like this. There's a train that runs like that, which is a weird way for a train to run. It would really be running 7.640 miles. 